Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are feeling good. My name is Bukumi Vicky Crown. So guys, we're going to be checking out this video to get the titled 10 Surprising Miracles in the Quran. So let's watch guys. Muslims from all around the world view the Quran as a direct revelation from God and often passages of the Quran related to science are used as evidence of the Quran's divine origins. Welcome to another FT Facts episode. My name is Leroy Canton and in this episode it was actually requested by Don Zahir Machiavelli and many of you also requested this topic too so thank you for your video suggestion and now this was an extremely fascinating episode so you definitely got to watch it up until the end. I don't want you to miss any of these 10 miracles. So the first thing is the speed of light. Muslims believe that angels are created from light and the angels communicate the affairs of God which they get from what is known as a preserved tablet in outer space. And the speed at which they travel to and from this tablet it turns out to actually be the speed of light. In the Quran, Surah 32 verse 5, it says Allah rules the cosmic affairs from the heavens to the earth. Then this affair travels to him a distance distance in one day, at a measure of 1,000 years of what you count. Hence, in one day, the angels will travel a distance of 1,000 years according to the lunar calendar because that's what Muslims counted at that time. The belief is that God is saying that the angels travel in one day the same distance that the moon travels in 12,000 lunar orbits. 12,000 lunar orbits or Earth days equals the speed of light. Mm. Now, science shows that. Now, the atmosphere protects us is the next thing. So, the atmosphere protects Earth from radiation and meteorites. Now, this is also portrayed in the Quran, 1400 years ago. In the Quran, Surah 21 verse 32, it says, And we made the sky a protective shield, and they turn away from its sign. The next scientific miracle in the Quran is female bees are the worker bees. So worker bees are actually all females. Now the Quran refers to bees that generate honey as females. So listen to this. In the Quran, Surah 16 verses 68 to 69, it says, And your Lord revealed to the bees, Build your hives in mountains trees and in what they build. Then eat from every fruit and follow your Lord's enslaved paths. From its bellies exists drink of different color, in it healing for man. So in Arabic, the word eat or kuli is for females and that's used in the Quran. And the term follow a path is the word usluki in Arabic and that refers to females as well. As also the term its bellies is butuniha and that's also used mm. for females. The Quran also mentions hearing mm. before seeing. So this is what I mean. So hearing is one of the first senses to develop. Now this is only known in recent history and it's also mentioned in the Quran. The Quran Surah 76 verses 2 it says, We created man from a fertilizing sperm to test him and we made him hearing and seeing. Also the Quran Surah 23 78 it says, It is he who produced for you the hearing and the eyesight and the feelings but little gratitude you show. So the Quran always refers to the hearing before the seeing, which turned out to be the actual order of human development in the womb. Flight comes in at number six. So the Quran is also believed by Muslims to have foretold that humans someday would be able to reach the sky. In Surah 29, 22, it says, you cannot escape Allah's might on earth or in the sky, and you have no protector and no savior besides Allah. Also in Surah 84, 19, it says, you will ride one layer from another layer. The word tabak in Arabic means layer in English, and from this came certain myths about flying carpets, but now the flying aircrafts that go up layer upon layer are what we know today. Also, sound waves. According to the University of Washington, the original sound waves were not temporary temperature variations, but they were actual real sound waves spreading around the universe. Now in the Quran, Surah 41 verse 11 indicates this and it says, Then he directed himself to the heaven when it was smoke and then said to it and to the earth, Come willingly or by force. They said, We do come willingly. So the heaven replying back implies that the heaven had a voice, which would mean it emitted a sound wave. Another miracle Muslims point to is the high altitudes affect your breathing. As altitude increases, atmospheric pressures and oxygen levels in the atmosphere actually decrease, which eventually gets to a point where we can no longer breathe. Now, we all know this, the higher you go, the harder it is 
to breathe. Now in the Quran, Surah 6 verse 125, it says this, those whom Allah wants to guide, he opens their chest to Islam, and those whom he wants to leave astray, he makes their chest tight and constricted as if they are ascending to the sky. Bones forming before muscles is also another miracle. Apparently the first formation of actual bones happens in the jawbone at day 41 and about three days later that's when the associated muscles are formed. And in the Quran Surah 23 verse 14 it says, then we develop the semen into a leech, then we develop the leech into a lump, then we develop the lump into bones, then we clothe the bones with flesh, then we produce it into another creature. Most blessed is Allah the best of creators. Number two, now we look at the part of the brain responsible for lying. So for centuries, everybody thought that the frontal part of the human brain was responsible for sight because of course it's at the front of your head. But we know now that the part responsible for vision is actually at the back of the brain. So if you fall back and hit the back of your head, it could affect your sight or make your eyes go cross-eyed. But now science shows us that the frontal part of our brain or the prefrontal cortex text is responsible for forming intelligent thoughts like creating lies. And Muslims quote the Quran Surah 96 verse 16 that says, a lying sinful forehead, which indicates that lying is happening in the front of your head. Now number one, we have planets, stars, and all of the celestial bodies are actually moving. For centuries it was believed that the earth was fixed and the sun and the moon and other planets and the stars and all that revolved around the earth. But an interesting passage from the Quran that the Muslims point to is Surah 39 verses 5 and it says, Allah created the heavens and the earth in truth. He overlaps the night over the day and overlaps the day over the night and enslaves the the sun and the moon all move to a pre-recorded destiny. All right guys, so these were just some of the passages that Muslims called miracles of the Quran, but now I want to hear from you. Wow. Mm, amazing guys. The one that really surprised me is the line in front of your head. Well, these are really surprising science. This ones are scientific miracles in the Quran. I was expecting spiritual miracles, you know, spiritual miracles, the kind of miracles Jesus did in the Bible. I want, I want to know what are the miracles that Prophet Muhammad did spiritually in the Quran. That's what I'm mostly interested in. But this ones are scientific, uh, scientific miracles. It's also powerful. It's also some of these are shocking. You know, the speed of light. You know, um, everyone talking says something like that. It's really, really nice to know, know, know this kind of miracles. But I wish I could, I can know the spiritual miracles that happened in the Quran. I'm really, really curious about that. I hope I'll get a video like that. Or if there is, let me know. Is there any, you know, spiritual miracle that Prophet Muhammad performed in the Quran, like the way Jesus performed miracle, uh, like the way Jesus performed miracle in the Bible spiritually? Yes, that's what I want to know. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like, share, and comment. I'll see you in the next one. Stay blessed. Bye.